I don't really see it as a scene in the film, I see it as a sequence because it's so iconic. We thought, wouldn't it be really fun to take the audience and jump into the crater without an edit? But we actually put our a camera operator in a stunt wire rig. He ran headfirst into the crater and that's how we achieved that shot. Very logistically challenging set, but very pleasing to work in. Alejandro wanted to use his wide-angle lenses. I felt that it was his way of writing and telling the story visually. The whole film is photographed with anamorphic lenses that photograph the landscape of Mexico in an incredible way, and the actors are very present. We are around him, and we see his world mapped around him. We were going to replicate this concert exactly. We scoured Australia for period light fixtures for the TV studio and the cameras that were in the TV studio as well. We put one of our film cameras into the housing of the TV camera so it'd be in exactly the right position and we would rehearse with him on stage so that by the time we shot it, we were all in harmony. If you're here, then you already know who she is. Todd immediately said, well, actually we have to shoot this in one. And I absolutely jumped at that. So the idea then being that Lydia would basically drive the editorial and she would move us through those different shots. And I think that's why double perception is possible because for some people it never feels like a one shot. Trying to figure things out. Keep the audience at a level of heightened awareness. You want to dance the mask, you must service the composer. We started off just discussing the overall conception of how we were going to move the camera relative to the actors and we would sort of dream about what we wanted to do to visualise the story. Happy New Year! Houston said you make a film with your gut, not with your head. And when it comes down to it, it's an instinct. You kind of feel a shot. It just feels right, doesn't it? 